every time. And now every every one of these videos starts with me saying every time, and it doesn't even make a lot of sense. Hey there, everyone! This is Aokao. Last time I played, I was doing some grinding. I was like, hey, what if we not just do all six bosses? Because each grind is six level. I ended up only doing a single boss, this guy, because I didn't die enough. And so by the time I started dying on mass, like a lot of time I didn't spend. So we're going to do the grid for sci-fi, mine as well, do sci-fi, alien, ambush, clear, 15 points, an alien is out for a walk, and I don't like its looks. Are you profiling this alien? Catch it in your trap! Uh, tra trap. Alright, well I don't like the justification, but I gotta do it. Trapped! I did it! I press the button in time, we gotta do that 15 times! The trap. Oh, he waits a little bit. Oh, he was like, I've got to wait. Oh, I did. I stopped waiting. And this guy's like, Whoa, I got the spinny move. Is this one of those games? I, I recall I've only ever really played this game when it was faster, so I'm starting to wonder. I don't. Like, this is one of those games I barely, like, played ever, right? So maybe I'm- I never encountered it at its slowest speed? Oh, it worked! See, I remember that. I remember the alien pulling little stunts like that, doing a little speed dash. This guy stops, then goes. You know, it's very obvious plan. He's like, whoa, check it out! Oh, don't matter! Here we go, faster! Alright, I'm just walking. Oh no, I cannot walk anymore! I will die because I need to be moving on to live! That's a mighty hop you got there, Mr. Squishy Face. Okay, almost didn't do. Da -da -da. I'm just. Oh shoot, well, alright, well, your life is. Oh, well, I won. Whoops! It's fine. I No, I need to do at least this one. And I didn't do it. So I'm just one off because I'm bad. Good. Okay, now it is physically and you didn't jump. Uh, normally, like you do a little hop. This is because we don't have time. But yeah. Okay, so I have one. The one where I'm quiet, my set. Oh, see, there you did jump, and then I freaked out. I don't know. Don't know. Wow, okay. At that point, it goes pretty fast. We got traps, though. We don't got any bait or anything. It's just that that's where the alien has to go to, like, to go in a mail or something. Yeah, so the timing between each phase is extremely different. And when the speed goes all over the place, you know, you get a different effects. It's pretty cool. Alright, so, here we go, classic, clash number one, 20 points, avoid the attack by jumping and ducking, duck, jump, you gotta do those two things, yeah, it's that, it's just, it's just do what it says, alright, you did uh, that weird low rock, uh, doesn't do much, dodge, whoa, whoa, Got ourselves a little bit of Bowser fire. This classic clash between uh, all the rocks. There we go. Gotta dodge the rocks. Oh, watch out! It's rock time. Well, one attack, you get like Kirby plants in the background. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but it, it, it kind of looks like the kind of background you encounter in Kirby Three. Timing for jumping over the rocks is so weird. Because, like, clearly you're still touching it. But the herd box is strictly, like, on the very, very... No? Okay, you can land on it. And the rock will, like, blow up. I did a, a duck. Whoa! Dodged. Yeah, that was a level three where I only had one thing to do. That's weird. All right, whoa, here we go. Because this is going to be level three. Jump. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's because we're running out of time already. That'd be strange. But I don't know where are those rocks coming from. How do you type emails with those? It don't make no sense. Whoops, Cypress, jump! Don't jump into a flame that is at your neck level. That's just good advice in general. Shoot. Whoa. Okay, I might die. I might die. I need to do this one. 
Okay, and you gave it to me. You gave me something really easy. Okay, so yeah, it turns out is this when you have a choice between different actions, uh, uh, when things start to go fast, my brain will like automatically try to, you know, uh, go for a default action. And apparently it's Chomp. Oh, it's the robot one. Manic mechanic, clear 10 points. Assemble the robot parts as they fall down. Are you up to the task? Or not! That or not is unneeded. Uh, it says, yeah, well, I'm, some, I'm controlling the body. That's right, head on shoulders. Avoid uh, gravity. And that's the girl robot. You can tell it was, it was a skirt. Sweet. Assemble! Liartron! Finally! That might have been a cop because of the hat, I'm not sure. Alright, well, yeah, see, so you got a big guy. He's the easier one. They go in order of size. Uh, what is those? Oh no, those are your, your hands? I thought you just had like wild hockey sticks. But being a robot, your hands could. Whoops. I could not attach the head to the lower part like I wanted. Oh, shoot. Okay, so, um. The detection is very specific about what parts it want because there I was sure, like a lot of these deaths I was sure I had them and clearly I didn't uh, So yeah a bit more and it's ten. Okay. It's only ten though. God damn it. Really? Jesus hell Okay, and by completing this now, I am guaranteed to win. Ugh! Alright, yeah, it took me a little bit to get used to it. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's a weird movement, and uh, the A especially has a very, very, very small landing area. So, I mean, they know what they're doing. This is why this is a 10-pointer. Whoa, hey! I managed to do it, though! Alright, we're assembling, because now it's going really fast. It's my new sign game. See, I feel like maybe in the past I was trying to move too much. Because look at that. Like, it feels like the robot will very often be constructed, like, around the middle of the screen, right? So you kind of don't want to move too much. But I mean, look. You, know, you still have to move, though. Like, you can't just stay still. It's not that kind. There's no just stay still games in the first WarioWare. Apparently that's a thing later in the series. I mean, I remember during the cat game when I was trying to understand it, thinking that a game where it was just do nothing makes sense to me. Uh, Design-wise, uh, is not the one. All right, the VWA, VUA, V single UA, have assembled. Hover for cover. Clear 15 points. Blast off in the rocket ship, but avoid the flying rocks. Can you handle it? I don't know, maybe. Blast off. Just what, press button and then go? Okay, it's got to hover to cover. There you go, hover and cover. How many points? I? So the problem is, you know, I'm reading the text out loud. Which means I'm not actually uh, registering any of it. Oh, see, and the higher the level, the more windows you got. All right, the more windows you got, the more ship you got. That's just called engineering. Rao, Rao Kao goes to engineering school. A four-year LP that will end in failure. Look forward to it, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You get a sweet ring, though, if you actually do it. All right, whoa, whoa, yeah, here we go. I, I mean, engineering is like, if you go to engineering school, I'm assuming, oh boy, yeah, no. Look at that tiny little space I had to fit in. Like, it's mostly math, I'm assuming? Math and physics? And, and like, science? Well, yeah, math and physics are part of science. Shocking, I'm aware. But uh, that's, that's, that's the truth, man. That is not the tooth, though. Tooth, teeth, different things. 
Whoa. You can also use science to learn more about teeth. But honestly, like, no, speaking from the heart, personally, I think the less we know about teeth, the better we are. Alright? There are part of humanity, of knowledge, that we were never meant to understand. And I firmly believe that uh, teeth and teeth-related factoids are cheap amongst them. The less we know about what's going on inside our mouths, the better we're off, alright? Just don't think about the fact that you have a visible muscle in there. And it's super huge, and it takes up like all the space. For no real reason! I don't know why it's so big! And the way to control it is like super down your throat! Why well, just hovered right into that rock? That was not hover to cover. That was hover in the danger. Look, man, you gotta like... Late game grid zone nonsense. It's all about anticipation. And anticipation, you know, it's uh... It can lead to bad stuff, can lead to mistakes, can lead to, you know, you might anticipate the wrong thing. By the time you realize it, and you know, that time span might be fractions of seconds, it's too late! It's gonna be classic clash, two, three, we're not doing two, we're doing one and three! 20 points complete the combo to defeat a foe! You got that? Or what? Input command, and then cry. You gotta do this 20 times. Beam! Mario Beam, Bowser's gone. We did it, Charlie. Beam! Are you allowed to do mistakes? That's my question to myself. I, I don't know. I mean, like, we're, I'm not gonna try and find out, personally, you know? I'd rather just not learn. Or, I mean, find out when it happens naturally is the more accurate statement. Because I doubt I will continue with this to infinity. Well, you know, there's the... There's a non-zero possibility that I never fail an input and I just run out of time. I don't think that's gonna happen. When the time gets stricter, I will start to fumble my thumb and make mistakes. It's just... I feel like my experience in fighting games here has been very useful. Because I'm just basically making, you know, basic special moral lore, like, just like little half sequence. Like, that's just a half circle, there you go. Red fireball, are you ready? And, like, there's no, like, uh, diagonal. Bowser didn't blow up, but it still gave it to me. Yeah, I hesitated there, and that one that happened, like, three ago at this point. That's kind of like a DP. Like, it's not accurate, but most games will let you shortcut a DP doing that down, forward, then just down. Um, especially more modern games. Alright, I think I won. There was never really any questions about it. I, I kind of, I, I didn't say anything going in. Because I tend to fall to hubris a lot. That's kind of like one of my fatal, dramatic, irony, laser target. Oh, okay, so there I did a wrong input and it did nothing. It just didn't advance the thing. Like, I didn't lose instantly or anything. So, there you go. I have my answer. I knew it was gonna happen. And, luckily, I even know it. There, too, I missed an input, but, like, I could catch back. Okay, so there the beam was in my hand, but it didn't leave my hand. And so it didn't... Okay, so the ball needs to touch Bowser. Because at that one point, the beam was, like, in the air. But it didn't get a Bowser yet. And so I died. Last one for today. Space escape. Clear 10 points. Alien battle stations are attacking. Avoid their firing and escape alive if you can. I remember this game being the game I didn't understand the controls for the longest time. I thought I could just like move back and forth or something. Even though when you look at the instructions, they make it extremely clear that no, you, you can move all directions. In fact, you kind of need to. Whoa, they gave that to me. That's very nice of you. So this is a 10-pointer. 10 points, I notice, because they're kind of rare. And they're, you know, with the harder games. Not necessarily the more difficult to win, I guess, but the more complex game, you know? Because here you got, like, all motions that you can handle in 2D. You're in a little gradius stage. It's very cute, honestly. Like, it would be just as home as part of uh, Invault's selection. Are these aiming, or do they just fire wherever? 
I think they just kind of anyone anyway, I won already. <laughs> what a finale! I mean, honestly, I'll take a finale like this where I feel like I'm really good. You know, it's cool to feel good at something. It's a great feeling. I suggest that to anyone. Find something you're good at and then do it once in a while. For no reason, just for the sake of it. It's great. It's a fantastic feeling. Do things you're good. Oh, I, I got juked. I was looking at the blast of. Okay. You know what? And then brag about how good you are. It's an important part of the process. Because <laughs> then this starts happening. And you gotta, you gotta keep humble. You know, do the things you're good at. That's good. It's good to be good at things. But stay humble. All right. Oh shoot. You are failable. You are not the Buddha. It's important to keep that in mind. Oh, if you end while you're like, well, let well. Also now it's just like the time is just so shortened that, you know, it's my my little space hamster. Like, all right, I'm gone. Hey, I'm here. We'll check it out on space hamster. I'm gone. We'll check it out. We'll check it out on space hamster. I'm gone. Hey, check it out. Space hamster is right here. Oh man, I'm gone. I feel like it. The game is getting easier. Like, are the bullets going faster? They, oh, they probably are. They're definitely. I don't know. They probably are. I don't know. I thought I was pretty comfortable. Here we go. We did sci-fi things, and next time we'll keep going sci-fi things. Check it out. We'll play the same game twice. With unreasonable decisions are made. I kind of went from one sentence to another. Pretty good.